what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. Let's talk about Paolo Panchero. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I keep messing up throughout this whole video, uh, just please shut up. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be talking about the Orlando Magic today, man. I want to give a shout out to Paolo. You know what I'm saying, man? First, I want to give a shout out to my boy Donnie. I don't know if he's going to be watching this or not. And I know he's going to call me RJ Mayweather. I'm going to slap him upside his head for mispronouncing Paolo's name. But you know it is what it is, Donnie. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take this slap and, you know, keep it pushing. But, you know, shout out to the, the uh, Orlando, you know, taking it seven, man. Say they took this series seven. I thought Cleveland in five or six, they took it seven. And they had Cleveland on the ropes until, you know, Donovan Mitchell had to do Donovan Mitchell things. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Paolo, man. He is a future star in this league, bro. And it's actually good to see more power forwards, you know, arising in uh, star power. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be for real, man. Besides Giannis and Julius Randle in the uh, East, and let's be for real, Julius Randle's a fake all-star. As a Knicks fan, Julius Randle's – no. I'm not a, I am not a fan of Julius Randle. And I believe the Knicks are way better without Julius Randle. I think, you know, we need to get rid of him. Get rid of all the 2019, 2020 players and usher in the Donovan Mitchells, Jalen Brunsons, and Josh Hart's and Devin Chenchos and stuff and Isaiah Hart's. Julius Randle's not an all-star. Paolo, the simple fact that they the, the NBA didn't know if Paolo could ball. They wanted to give Paolo another year to show that, you know, he could be a future star in this league, and he's proved it. Went seven games with Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He's won all of his role games and balled out. He balled out 39 points, 38 points, 38 points for 16 rebounds. Dude was cooking. He was cooking, man. Paolo cooked on this uh, on this Cleveland Cavalier team. And shout out to the Orlando, man. Y'all this was a good game. This is now granted. I'm recording this on Sunday. I'm posting it on Tuesday. Hopefully, no other. I mean, there's not gonna be that much news coming out, anyways. If there are, I'll probably do a video on it. But you know, Paolo did his thing, man. He did his thing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? On Sunday, uh, that was the only game on for basketball, and he he showed the world that you know he can ball, man. He's an up and coming star, and he's gonna be making a lot, a lot of all star games because. I know I criticize Giannis, but, I mean, obviously Giannis, if he's healthy, he's going to be the starter for the All-Star team. And Julius Randle's time is about up. His time is up in New York, and his time's up as being an All-Star. That that role goes to Paolo. He's a future star. Orlando, you know what I'm saying, is a up-and-coming team, them and the Pacers. But you know what? I put more stock into Orlando being a better team than the Pacers. Just something about Tyrese Halliburton. I, I don't know. Dude sounds like – I don't know, man. It is what it is with that. But we got to talk about something, Orlando. Listen, you guys got blessed with Shaq, Penny Hardaway, couldn't do anything. God bless you with Shaq and Penny Hardaway, you couldn't do anything. Apologize for not uh, saying that first one, man. He blesses you with Tracy McGrady, couldn't do anything there. He blesses you with Dwight Howard, couldn't do anything there. Now, God's bless you with Paolo. Please get Paolo some all stars around him. And shout out to my boy Donnie for telling me this. You guys have Anthony Black and Markel Folks as your point guards. Come on, bro. And I get Anthony Black is still young, but he he's a glorified casual. You know what? This might be a team that needs to trade for Trey Young. Go get Trey Young next to Paolo. Go get Trey Young next to Paolo. Or you know what? Go for you know go for the home run and trade. For Steph Curry, do something. Get Apollo an actual all star, superstar. Do something. Because I'm looking at your roster. I mean, come on with this, bro. Gary Harris, Joe Inglis, Wendell Carter Jr. Isaac is nasty. Isaac is nasty. I will give you that. Isaac's my boy. He's a man of the most high. You know what I'm saying? I mess with Isaac. So him coming off the bench is cool. Or maybe you put Apollo at the three, put Isaac at the four. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Isaac's my dude. But at the same time, man, go get Paolo some help. Anthony Black ain't it. My boy Donnie was telling me how much of a bum Anthony Black is. Uh, Markel, folks, listen, shout out to Markel, folks, for, you know, uh, getting his career, you know, becoming a bench player, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Markel, folks, I mean, you look at Ben Simmons compared to Markel, folks, it looks like Markel, folks, rebounded better than uh, Ben says. But at the same time, Markel Folks is a glorified casual, you know, 
probably good for your bench, but I'd rather have Mar Anthony Black coming off the bench than Mar Markel Folks. But go get Paolo some real help before he leaves you, just like Dwight, just like Tracy, just like Shaq did, just like Penny Hardaway did with the Suns, just like Vince Carter left you guys. Go get him some real help. You actually have a young up-and-coming superstar who proved that he can show up in the biggest moments. And the reason why you guys lost is because you got bums. For, for, what's this dude's name so I, so I can roast him? Uh, Franz Wagner is a bum. He's a bum. I don't care. How, he's a bum. Like, I'm sorry. He, he's a glorified casual. Glorified casual. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on, man. You, you, you need to put Paolo with some good weapons out here, man. Because cause, cause these guys ain't cutting it, bro. These guys ain't cutting it. Are we sure these guys start on other teams? Besides maybe like Utah, uh, maybe the Spurs and the Pistons. Like, you know, or matter of fact, speaking of Pistons, go trade for Kate Cunningham. At least Kate Cunningham is going to give you 20 to 25 points. If you had Kate Cunningham out here who would give you 20 points, you guys would have beat the Cavs. And I was low-key rooting for you guys because I wanted Donovan to come to the Knicks so he can get disgruntled. And number two, like, Paolo's good. Like, I saw Paolo last year. He was cooking. Dude was cooking, man. It's just unfortunate his team is beyond horrible. Don't let Paolo go, you know, don't let Paolo leave. Because once Paolo's contract comes up, unless you guys uh, unless you guys max him and uh, ma uh, match the trade that another team offers him, he's going to leave. He's going to leave. You know what I'm saying? Go trade for Trey. Go trade for Steph. Go trade for Booker. You know what I'm saying? Go, go get him something. Go get him something. Not Anthony Black. Not Markel Folks, not Joe Inglis, not Gary Harris, not Frank's uh Frank's 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 Wagner. And by the way, if you guys go get him a, a player, can you please get him some players that I can actually pronounce? I mean, come on, bro. I'm not even gonna pronounce your starting center's name. Golga. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. But listen, man, Orlando, you're in good hands for now. You're in good hands for now. Let's see what you guys do in the offseason. You know what I'm saying? This was a good step up. Paulo. Average, I think I, I think it showed Paolo's uh, numbers. I think I showed Paolo's numbers before uh, I started this video. But Paolo last year was averaging 20 points. Now he's averaging 23. That's improvement. Still averaging seven rebounds. He's averaging more assists this year. Like, he's doing his thing. He's better from the three-point. You know, he went from uh, 30% to 34. So Paolo's improving. He's still young. What is he, like 21, 22 years old, 21 years old? He's going to be a future rising star, especially in the East where besides Giannis, there's not that many power forwards that are going to be dominating. So he's going to be making all-stars. He's going to be making Orlando more relevant. Go get him another superstar or star player. Even DeJounte Murray was uh, will be good. Like something. Get him something. Don't leave him with nothing. Don't assume that he's LeBron and he's going to be carrying Orlando to the second, third round. You know what I'm saying, man? But, hey, this was a good series. You know, Apollo with 38 and 16, man. Dude, was, he was cooking, man. I was actually very impressed with Apollo this whole series. Because, I mean, he was the only reason why you guys won those home games. And he was almost the reason why you won this game. It's just, you know, your role players couldn't do anything. Once again, this dude for Ragnar, first of all, you know, screw him for getting 666 for all this uh, stat lines, you know. I'm a most high-fearing man my, uh, myself. Uh, you know, uh, but at the same time, dude has six points. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's look at oh, let's look at the boss score for uh, the Magic, man. Paolo with 38. Your next highest scorer was Wendell Carter with 13. And the second was uh, Jalen Suggs for 10. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get him some help. I don't even see what's his name on the screen. Unless he's injured or if you guys trade him and I don't know. Anthony Black's not even on my screen. I, uh, Jonathan Isaac, two points. Gary Harris, two, uh, four points, six points, I mean. Go get homeboy some help. Uh, Cole Anthony, you know, uh, eight points. Go get homeboy some help, man. Don't ruin, don't ruin, don't let uh, Orlando, bro. Orlando, you have something good. You have something good. God bless you with Shaq, Penny. You couldn't do anything. He blessed you with Dwight. He couldn't, you couldn't do anything. He blessed you with Tracy. You couldn't do anything. Now he's blessing you this time. And he might not bless you next time. Go do something. But, you know, once again, man, it is what it is. What's your thoughts on this series? Uh, what's your thoughts on Orlando Magic next year, man? RJ out.